You're watching From the Heart with John Willard. Hi, friends. John Willard here. Another great show to encourage you to think. And remember the subscribe button below for CNA TV. It's cold in the Ozarks. As sunrise breaks into daylight, I smile. One more sip of apple cider and my day will begin. I'm glad to have had these moments. I'm thankful for the peace of this morning. My opening thought. Thinking is the hardest work there is, which is probably the reason why so few engage in it. A man had bought his daughter a bicycle, unassembled, of course, and after reading and rereading the instructions, he couldn't figure out how it went together. Finally, he sought the help of an old handyman who was working in the backyard. The old fella picked up the pieces, studied them, then began assembling the bicycle. In a short time, he had it all put together. That's amazing, said the man. And you did it without even looking at the instructions. Fact is, said the old man, I can't read. And when a fella can't read, he's got to think. <laughs> Let the gentleman poet share this poem. The many will follow the beaten track with guideposts on the way. They live and have lived for ages back with a chart for every day. Someone has told them it's safe to go on the road he has traveled o'er, and all that they strive to know are the things that were known before. Edward de Bono, the Oxford exponent of lateral thinking, suggests that when we can't solve a problem using traditional methods, we should try detours and reversals, anything that will give us a different angle from which to ponder solutions. To illustrate, he tells his story about a problem faced by the executives of a large company. The company had moved into a new skyscraper and had discovered that the builder apparently had not put in enough elevators. Employees were disgruntled because there were overlong waits for elevators, especially at both ends of the working day. The company got a wide cross-section of staff, got them all together and ask them to sit down and solve the problem. The task force came up with four possible solutions. Speed up the elevators or arrange for them to stop at certain floors during rush periods. Stagger working hours to reduce the elevator demand at either end of the building install mirrors around the entrances to all the elevators. And number four, drive a new elevator shaft through the building. Which solution would you have chosen? According to Professor De Bono, if you chose the first, second, or fourth solutions, 
then you are a vertical or traditional thinker. If you chose the third possibility, then you are a lateral thinker. The vertical thinker takes the narrow view. The lateral thinker has a broader view. After some consideration, the company chose the third solution, and it worked. People became so preoccupied with looking at themselves or at others, said De Bono, that they no longer noticed the wait for the elevator. The problem was not so much the lack of elevators as the impatience of the employees. Friends, that gentleman poet says, all that I've shared with you today. Think about it. <laughs> Many things will catch your eye, but only a few will catch your heart. Pursue those. Friends, the pups, Cora May and Bubba, are ready for some chow. So I'll have to leave you until we meet again next week. As always, you can reach me on Twitter at JohnWillard47. Until next time, friends, this is John Willard from the phone.